Some North Texas soccer fans, yes, a little disappointed in today's announcement, right? Really hoping for that big game of so many folks have been talking about bringing it to our own backyard. But as our Olivia Leach found out, the economic impact of these nine matches should leave all of us feeling pretty excited. Despite weeks of rumors that Arlington's AT&T Stadium would be selected as the host of the 2026 World Cup final, FIFA officials had other plans. Announcing today, New Jersey's MetLife Stadium won the spot. I just think it here it would be better in Texas. Uh, I was upset because I was looking forward to going to it. Soccer fans at the Soccer Corner store in Arlington admit they were a little let down by the news. So the excitement's still there, but hearing rumors that the final might be here kind of get your hopes up. So why was AT&T Stadium passed over? Not being in the voting room of FIFA, but maybe it was mass transit. Maybe it was the international city where New York is still considered the gateway. But with nine World Cup games still coming to Dallas, sports marketing executive Larry Lundy says the economic impact of the World Cup will still be monumental. If you're a local corporation or business, you get nine bites out of the apple. That's like nine Super Bowls coming to town. Although the World Cup final match won't be held at AT&T Stadium, just 15 minutes away from Soccer Corner's Arlington location, manager Charlie Butler is still looking forward to the boost in sales the World Cup will bring. It's huge. It completely eclipses the Super Bowl. They already have plans to boost staffing and stock up on team gear. So it's going to be huge finding out which teams are playing here to make sure that we have product for those teams. According to U.S. Soccer, host cities can expect to rake in 90 to 480 million dollars in economic impact. There's going to be multiple opportunities, not only for our hotels and our restaurants, but for the average you know, business. But a study of the economic impact of the 1994 World Cup held in the United States found that while the expected economic impact for Dallas was $197 million, the World Cup only generated about $123 million for the city. I think the, the world has changed since 1994. I mean, there was no social media in 1994, so everybody posting from Dallas uh, the impact of Dallas, the photo ops from Dallas, it's going to be much bigger. In Dallas, Olivia Leach, CBS News, Texas.